Faced with a rising barrage of insults from Beijing, Canberra should demand a much firmer guarantee from Washington that if China conducts a missile strike on Australia, it would be retaliated. In Australia's case, the increasing threats and bullying from Beijing necessitate a much clearer understanding from our American friend about extended deterrence, not just nuclear deterrence, but also conventional deterrence against Chinese long-range theater missiles with conventional warheads. If we send Australian troops to coordinate with the U.S. and wage war on China over Taiwan, the editor-in-chief of Beijing's Global Times newspaper, which generally reflects the views of the Chinese Communist Party, threatened retaliatory punishment with missile strikes on the military facilities and relevant key facilities on Australian soil. China has a robust production capability, including producing extra-long-range missiles with conventional warheads that target military objectives in Australia when the situation becomes increasingly tense, who Xi Jinping said specifically. Long-range missiles with conventional warheads is the essential term here. Even with the most powerful intelligence methods, detecting any difference between a missile with a conventional warhead and one with a nuclear warhead is nearly impossible. The fact that China's conventional and nuclear theater missile units are co-located makes this even more challenging. But why is there such a focus on conventional warheads? This could be Beijing's way of demonstrating that it still follows its nuclear weapons declaration policy of no first use. It could also be geared at preventing any U.S. strikes on China in response for an Australian missile attack. Beijing, on the other hand, is not simply ignorant about how Washington could be persuaded to accept the distinction between conventional and nuclear strikes. There's also the issue that some of the relevant essential facilities on Australian territory are crucial for the U.S.'s understanding of the nature of such a conflict and if escalation can be managed. Taking down the joint U.S.-Australian intelligence facilities at Pine Gap in Alice Springs, for example, may be interpreted in Washington as an attempt to blind Washington to any signals of Beijing's deliberate nuclear escalation.